Welcome to my presentation. This presentation is part of the playlist in indefinite integrals. In this presentation, we will be solving problems using the rules of integration. Let us look at some examples using the constant rule of integration. If y is equal to integral negative 5 dx, we want to evaluate this indefinite integral. Negative 5 here is a constant quantity. So the solution, the way we want to proceed with the, with the solution for this particular example is as follows. Since negative 5 is a constant, we're going to take it outside of the integration process as shown here, negative 5 integral dx. When we perform the integration process, we can write this one out as negative 5 times integral dx converts to x. So therefore, negative 5 times x plus c. Whenever we perform an integration operation on an example problem, we're going to come up with a constant term, constant term like this, where c is a constant of integration. So let us look at another example. If y is equal to integral 1 half dx, evaluate this indefinite integral. Using the constant rule of integration, as you can see here, since 1 half is a constant, we're going to take it outside of the integration process and then integral dx, 1 half integral dx. So integral dx, when we integrate that, it converts to x. So therefore, 1 half times x plus c, where c is a constant of integration. So this is how we're going to use the constant rule of integration to solve example problems. So let's look at another example. Let's say we have an example of this kind. y is equal to integral negative 7 over pi dx. Negative 7 over pi. Negative 7 is a constant term and pi is a constant term. We want to evaluate this indefinite integral. So using the constant rule of integration, um, negative 7 over pi, since that is a constant, we're going to take it outside of the integration process. Uh, as shown here, negative 7 over pi integral dx. So when we uh, perform the integration process, integral dx converts to x. So therefore, we can write this one as negative 7 over pi x plus c. Whenever we, we uh, complete the integration process, we're going to add a constant to it where c, like like c here in this in this case, where c is a constant of integration. So this is this is the way we use the integration rules to solve example problems. In my next video presentation, we will be solving problems using the rules of integration. 